Show us your padlock demo. Yeah. Got the padlock, got the padlock here. No demo, no demo till one o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> So you're in there too. <laughs> Sweeney. Uh, Sweeney, say hey. What's going on? I'm ready to do this. Big appointment, Medico 3. Let's do it. Do you have your padlock? I got the padlock in my pocket. Chris Sweeney, uh, Asa Oblo representative for Medico. Is that adequate? That's adequate. Okay. Sounds good. Makes sense. Zach Pfeiffer, account Hello. manager extraordinaire. Myself, we're headed uh, to the north end of Charlotte for a potential big opportunity. We really have no idea what it could be. This is a potential discovery guy. meeting. This is a discovery meeting. Yes. Yeah, Maserati. I wonder if there if it goes 195. How would you say if it goes? Have you never heard the song? Yeah. Absolutely, yes. <laughs> That's On the way there, we're gonna find food. Yes. What are our gotta what are our ideas have, for lunch? We I mean we have to wrap our entire day around lunch. What are we what are we gonna eat? We are going to the lake. So we're going by the lake. We may have to do lunch uh, afterwards if it's whoa, continues. Whoa, That's a little late whoa, whoa, whoa. there, Sweeney. <laughs> couple of weeks we've been around 90 degrees in our in our area we're in Charlotte North Carolina and today uh, we're at 72 degrees which is about 20 degrees cooler than what we have been it's just been dreary and it hasn't been raining it's just been kind of a dark and cool day which is really really great I mean there's no no need to complain about it but it just I don't know if anybody else experiences this, but when the, the weather is like this, it's just kind of a, a dreary, I don't know, it's just kind of a dreary low-key day. Well, we're back uh, from the meeting earlier today. We had to travel about a half hour north of our com of our current location um, for the meeting, which was was really a lot. The, the meeting that we were preparing for versus the meeting that we actually attended, I think were two totally different things. Um, it was a very low-key um, and very simplistic meeting. They knew exactly what they were looking for and had a lot of specifications that they had to follow up with. So we were just able to kind of talk to those specifications and be able to validate or verify some of that information. So that looks to be really exciting. Some of the big key highlights were we had an amazing kind of a sales huddle this morning, which we do that every Tuesday morning. A couple of shout outs. One of the things that we've been working very, I believe, we've been very diligent in working on in our organization is trying to get better at once we provide a solution to a customer that we are doing a really good job making sure that we stay in contact with them if it's a follow-up call email whatever but we really have kind of felt that uh, when we send emails out sometimes they they get lost in inboxes or maybe they get to the wrong person go into the spam folder, whatever that specific situation is. So we have really committed ourselves to doing a better job at uh, at trying to follow up to make sure that the customer received it because the, the worst insult that we can get is that um, we worked really hard on a quote and we got it to the customer or what we feel like we got it to the customer and then we hear from them weeks or months down the line that says, yeah, I never got that quote from you. And we put all the effort into doing it, but we just 
they never received it. And so we've really dedicated ourselves to trying to get better at that process and improve that process. Um, and last week was was probably one of the record weeks for that. We had well over 50 follow-up calls um, and we sent out over 51 quotes. So uh, we really are getting back into that kind of equal leverage of what we're sending out versus what we're following up on. And that's awesome. That's an awesome testament to our entire sales organization and sales team to really be mindful and being uh, being a relational service company. We want to make sure that we're not just sending pricing out, but that we're actually following up and providing ourselves to, to answer questions and make sure they understand the quote or make sure they understand the solution. So those are really big key points that I feel like we're winning on um, and it requires a constant focus. So that's one of the metrics that we look at uh, every Tuesday morning. 3 p.m., our office. Um, okay, I'll be back. And then, I'll be back around then, so I'll be I'll be happy to. And you're, are you going to any other sites, or are you just going to be here? The only thing that we may do is run over to... Uh, the other meeting that we had this morning, which was... I feel like we got some really, really good traction on, was trying to get... Um, a more unified approach in how we are pricing projects. Uh, this is one thing that we've been, you know, in all transparency, we've been struggling with it for many years in trying to make sure that we're consistent in our pricing structure and our pricing models and making it very replicable. So uh, I feel like we made some really uh, big strides in that conversation today and making some really big strides in working towards kind of always improving that process. Hold on a second, Levi. <laughs> what is this? I am putting pictures to spice up my presentation tomorrow. That's that's nice. This is not a self-portrait. Okay. See you in the morning, Levi. <laughs> Sambo. See you in the morning. See you later. Really? Couldn't go a day without the finger guns, huh? <laughs>